Castletown really bore the brunt of the damage uh, from the tidal surge and I'm here today with Richard Ronan, the Castletown MHK. Can you just explain first of all what's happened here? Well as you can see uh, behind us here now there's been some uh, colossal damage to the seawall uh, at the back of the grammar school here now um, where the, the tidal surge on, on Friday has is, is basically lost, uh, washed away a vast majority of this. And as you can see now, it's, it's very unstable and very unsafe and, you know, the residents of Castletown are very concerned about it. So, yeah, it's, it's a big problem for the town and m I will say a big problem for the Isle of Man as well. This, uh, the, the changes in sea patterns, for example, you know, causing this sort of damage, which is, which is clear this is happening more and more. They did say it was, uh, was going to be a one in 50 year event. Well, in the last uh, week we've seen two, in the last 12 years we've seen three. So this is obviously happening more and more and it, it is a national issue now. Now you, you said earlier to me that we're in 2014, we might as well be in 1914. What do you mean by that? Well I just think the way uh, national government uh, has approached things in the past, I'm not saying this government is doing this because to be honest with you I'm quite impressed with the Chief Minister and the Minister of Infrastructure, the way they've uh, responded to this, but historically uh, there's inadequacies on, on how things are done in the Isle of Man. For example, there's areas uh, where central government will pay for one thing and then somewhere else on the Isle of Man it's somebody else's responsibility, i.e. a local authority or whoever. I just think now, uh, them days are gone, that's a bygone age that, and I still think as a national government we still act like this. And I think it's very important for, for sea defences especially and, uh, and other things these are national issues and it's very important that politicians stand up to the plate and identify themselves as national politicians or local politicians. This is key for me, this is one of the reasons I stood and behind us is absolutely clearly to me a national issue. Because we are looking here aren't we at probably tens of thousands of pounds worth of damage. It seems astonishing that should fall on the so shoulders of a local authority, the local commissioners. Well, as a business owner, I won't be getting you to do me business, uh, me, me <laughs> estimates. I think it's going to cost a lot more than that. Uh, it's it's very difficult to say what it'll cost. It's very even. It's difficult to say what what this will look like in, in when it's repaired because we don't know. It may have to change. You know, we don't know. But one thing for sure, it will cost a, a considerable amount of money. Um, we don't know what that's going to cost yet. I'm I'm, I'm sure the the DOI are, are, are working on that uh, at the moment. Now you're a member of the DOI, political yes, member. Are you working from within? Uh, well, at the moment, this is this is purely a constituency issue for me regarding the, the concerns I've got for Castletown in, in this. But yes, I've uh, been in touch with the minister uh, and obviously the operations manager um, uh, Jeff Robinson. In fairness, who have been great. You know, I've got no problems with that. But you know, uh, what I will say is that you know I'm not going to be um, nodding heads and, and, and agreeing with everything DOI say if I disagree with it. You know, I, I have my principles, and I'll certainly be sticking to them. And, and now turning uh, turning to Alan uh, Harding from the Highways Division of, of the DOI. Um, obviously, now we're in the aftermath of of the big storm. What, what's your priority now? Our priorities now are to clean up uh, the areas, the coastal promenades, etc., that's been affected. Uh, look and uh, assess any damage that's being done and try and put measures in place before the next event. And, and what will you be looking for from members of the public? Again, we, we're trying to push the message that yes, we will help as much as possible residents and businesses, but this is very much a community uh, spirit uh, event, if, if you like. We're trying to get the community to self-help where possible. Mm one thing we're conscious of that there are a lot of people in the communities that can't help themselves they're vulnerable people and we must ensure first and foremost we help those people okay, okay, just to come in on that one just a quick one on the end of that just to make sure that, that we're, we're singing on the same book here i'd just like to, uh, to 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 back up a little bit what alan's saying there uh, what i will say on friday we had some heated conversations uh, regarding the the, the, the response to castan but the doi certainly i believe did their best um, Alan is dead right to say that we need to learn lessons from the past. If one area which I think which we've got to be careful about is, is there's people who are vulnerable who can't get sandbags to their doors. And things. It was the able-bodied people 
who got to the sandbags the quickest and maybe putting them in areas they should well weren't needed not to say shouldn't have been but one thing for, for sure what I will say is I, I, I'm quite impressed with what the D the DOI did and certainly operations and uh, they certainly did the best uh, it was a it was a it was a big event and in fairness they didn't have long t t uh, time to react to it and I thought they did a good job <laughs>